Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaur Survivors. Aha, I got the name correct this time. Last time out we uh, we got chased by loads of Spinosauruses and uh, thankfully I can tell you now, there are no Spinosauruses about as of yet. We'll have a few, don't worry. But today we are going to showcase all of the 35 dinosaur species in this brand new dinosaur DLC for Minecraft. So as you guys can see here, we've got all of the equipment right here and we've got plenty of dinosaurs to go through. We'll be going through all of these, but we won't be doing the items. So if you want to check out the items, do pause the video at a good time. So without any further ado, let's spawn in the first dinosaur I believe is a Baryonyx. Okay, it's a lot bigger than the other ones I was test spawning over there. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice dinosaur. These are similar dinosaurs to, uh, to Paleocraft just to let you guys know. Uh, however, they've got brand new skins and I think some have different model variants. We have to wait and see. But yes, this one over here, uh, it's a nice little creature. What's it called? Uh, no Notolops. Notolops? Is that how you say it? Notolops. Oh, there's one over there as well. Notolops. I believe they should... Yeah, they, they belong in water. So we'll just pop loads in water. Have them swim about, enjoy their time in the water. Next up, we have the beast, which I'm pretty sure... Will oh, it died. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so the beast is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so we'll pop the Rex over here. There you go, what an absolutely lovely... Oh, it looks like it's going to fight the Baryonyx. Something that should have happened in Jurassic Park 3, but turned out to be a Spinosaurus instead. And that did, definitely did not happen. <laughs> Next up, the Barasaurolophus. Oh, I love Paras. Oh my god, it's so cute, it's tiny. Come on, spawn a bigger one. There we go, that's the power I know and love. No way, is the Rex really going to go on a rampage? It's it's going to go on a rampage. It's killing the babies. Right, we're just going to move over here. Uh, Tylosaurus? I hate you. I hate the Tylosaurus so much. You guys would know why if you watched my previous video. Oh! Whoa! Na what? What just happened? It's such a pain to deal with. They literally want to... Look at the size of them! They're, they're attacking each other. So not only did they attack me, they attack each other. Nice, right. <laughs> Stegosaurus is next up. We can spawn him, that is. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Well, that's a herd. That's definitely a herd of Stegos. Uh, I'm going to go to the kill all button. Uh, that way, it's it's not working. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with my game right now. It seems to uh, to be lagging. All of the dinosaurs are stopping, stopped in motion. Um, this isn't good. Well, uh, I, I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Right, so uh, we're back in Minecraft. Um, the last clip you saw, the first half of the video, um, yeah, that was kind of recorded, I think, about two weeks ago. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely been a while, let's say, since um, I've actually recorded. So... Yeah, do bear with me if we've forgotten some things, but I do believe that um, we finished on the Stegosaurus and we had a bit of a glitch with the Stegosaurus. So we're going to continue from the Edmontosaurus on the Brachiosaurus, Compi, Dilo, and then so on. So do bear with me whilst we collect all of the genomes that we do need to produce the, uh, the creatures. Because, again, this is a showcase. This is supposed to be a fun showcase. And I don't really want to stress out about it. So I took two weeks off from making this video, but I've been working on other things. So, last time out, we put loads of creatures. I think that's the main issue. We're not going to do anything of the sorts. So instead, I believe we're just going to place down the dinosaurs and then press the kill all button once we need it. So we'll place down, what creature is this? Edmontosaurus. As you can see, beautiful Edmontosaurus. Very similar to the Jurassic World Evolution styled model. I'm not even sure if they're going to be in Evolution 2 from what we've seen. I mean, we have seen them in Evolution 2. But, you know, it's at a very minuscule pixel rate, so it's hard to confirm that they're Edmontosaurus, but it's safe to say they would return. Obviously accompanied with the uh, the new head crest, which I think was discovered in 2017, 2018. So it's nice that they followed the model like that. Uh, next up we have the big sauropod, which we're going to go over here for it. This is the Brachiosaurus. We're inside it. Oh, wow. It's, it's nice. It's nice. I do like it. That was fast. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the Brachiosaurus. Why not? Why not give give a friend okay uh, i'm not gonna give a friend it's gonna it's gonna have a child instead a child brachiosaurus next up is compi which i believe we can actually put quite a lot of these because they won't take up sh take up too much space shall we say but yes the uh the compsignathus very tiny creatures although they are adorable um but don't let their size fool you because they can definitely take down a full-sized human so <laughs> it's safe to stay away from them 
Talk of which, um, we have a Dilophosaurus. Now, I don't know if this Dilophosaurus is going to be 12 feet or if it's going to be the four foot one. Okay, no, it actually seems like it's uh, it's 12 feet. Yeah, because it's, it's taller. Oh, oh, wow. Did you just kill... Did you kill the Dilophosaurus? All right, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too sure what happened. Oh wow! Okay, the the Brachiosauruses are not to be messed with. I'm gonna stay away from the Brachiosauruses then. Uh, next, we have a species I've never seen before. How do I pronounce that? Guianeschnidia. I assume it's a. Okay, yep, it's the dragonfly. Just fly away, little dragonfly. There we go. <laughs> uh, it seems like they're having fun, flying around. Next up, we have the uh, Epidectrix, which I think is flying. <gasps> That's what it was in my playthrough. Ah. You see, I thought it was like a baby Ferrazinosaurus or something, but it turns out it's just the Epidectrix, I think. That's how you say it. Next up is Gallimimus. We love the Gallimimus. Very tall. Um, but, you know, Gallimimus, they belong in herds. So we're going to go far away, and uh, we're going to go over here to... Um... Okay. But yes, we're going to go over here to uh, produce loads of Gallimimuses. Because they deserve to stay in herds. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Next up, we do actually have Velociraptor and I believe Spinosaurus next. So we'll spawn in the Velo. There we go. Three different sizes. Wait. Do not create hybrid dinosaurs with the Compi. Relax. <laughs> next up. Oh, wow. It's killing the Compis. It's just, it, it, it's just deathmatch heaven here, isn't it? Christ. Okay. Uh, well, it's now attacking the Gallimimus. Did you have to do that? Anyways. <laughs> next up, I'd like to see the Velociraptors take down this. The Spinosaurus, which is incredibly loud. Um, yeah, I don't think the Velociraptors stand a chance now. So, karma to them. But the Spinosaurus, I think it's the Egypticus. No, this is the Giganticus. The Egypticus is different. It's based off the real models. The Giganticus is based off of the Jurassic Park models, let's say. But yes, still one of my favorite dinosaurs for sure. Okay, next up we have the Ornitholestes, which are little buggers that uh, happen to kill me off screen quite often. So, um, still a pretty cool looking dinosaur if you were to ask me. I really like how... No, 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 please leave them alone. Please. Ah... <sighs> I've had tons of issues when it comes to the Spinosaurus, especially in this in the gameplay for this DLC. Uh, you can go check it out, probably a video link in the top right of the description. If not, you can check it out on the channel. Uh, but yes, yeah, Spinosaurus are pain in the arse, so let's spawn in all the Felestes again. As you can see, has the nice little dewlap and the nose crest as well, with some proto feathers coming down the back and on the back of the head. Definitely one of my favourite model designs when it comes to dinosaurs. I do really like them. But yes, those are the Ornithalestes, accompanied with Dryosaurus. Tiny, tiny ones. I think they're very similar to... Where is it? Leoneosaurus, I think? Yeah, they're very similar. I think they're the same Dryosaurids, let's say. Oh, wow! But they won't kill the Dryosaurus for some reason. Well, next up we have Nasutoceratops. Very average, very stable, the standard Nasutoceratops. Next up is Herrerasaurus. Definitely one of my favorite species, just the colorization and the model of it. I just love the look of it. Looks amazing. And there's a deathmatch going on here. So we're going to move over here, away from them. And uh, that way we can spawn in the Huangasaurus, which I believe is Stegosaurid. Yes, look at it. It's gorgeous. I really like the Huangasaurus. One of my underrated species, let's say, for Jurassic World Evolution. And a lot is going on over there. I'm very concerned. Uh, next up is Hybodus, which I believe is like Megalodon. So we're going to spawn it in the water, as you can see. Swimming around, having a fun time. They're, uh, they're painful as well to deal with, but bearable, let's say. Uh, we have Ludodactylus, which I think is a flying reptile. Yep, it's uh, going to take off. And that's not the only flying reptile. We also have Dimorphodon, which are going to fly away as well. So <laughs> pause the video if you want a better look at them, because they're going to fly away. In fact, can this kill all what? Oh, wow, it worked. Okay. Kill all button does work. Right, we're on to our final species now. We've got the Metriocamphosaurus, which again, very similar to the evolution model, but at the moment we don't know too much about Metriocamphosaurus because uh, we only have a few bones. I think we have one up here, the hip bone and a skeletal uh, system. Oh, wow. A skeletal bone, shall we say, for the, um, obviously, every, every bone is skeletal. Sorry, the spine bone. 
That's what I meant. We have, a, I think, a rib or a spine somewhere here of the Metric Aphosaurus. So, you know, the models are going to be based off other other games, which is fine. Uh, we have Acro Aphosaurus, which is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it, of course. Another deathmatch is going on. Next up, we have Plesiosaurus, which hopefully will be in uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous or Jurassic World Dominion. But here they are. Long neck. They're, they're the sauropods of the water, let's say. Uh, again, more uh, aquatic reptiles. We have ammonites, which will just spawn loads of them because I'm sure they'll be okay. But they are pretty cool if you were to ask me. I do like the animites. Oh. Well, I guess the plesiosauruses don't like the animites. I'm sorry. Uh, Pteranodon, another flying reptile. As it flies away, let's see if we can uh, actually join it this time. Uh, there it is. The Pteranodon. Pretty cool. Proceratosaurus, another dinosaur expected to be in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Definitely one of my smaller favourite carnivorous theropods. Uh, I do like the Proceratosaurus, but can it match up with the Triceratops? No, that, that, that one's legged it. <laughs> See, that one's died. Okay, that was close. Okay, well, it was killed the other one. Uh, Coelacanth, which I believe is also an aquatic creature. Can we put down Coelacanth? Oh, okay, yep, yeah, they've, they've just spawned. Well, here it is. See the camp. Uh, some people actually suspect them to still be alive today, which oh wow, okay, all right, all right, Trike. Um, which I think I've read a report that they are, so I don't know too much evidence about that. But um, at the moment, I'm going to say they're extinct. Uh, we also have Ceratosaurus, which again, one of my favourite carnivores as well. Looks awesome. That's a better size of it. I hold the power. Kill all. They are now deaded. They're dead. Okay, so we're on to our last two. I thought I'd spawn in an explorer car, but then I realized I don't really have any purpose for it. So the next ones we have are Carnotaurus, which again, pretty cool. You know, reminds me of Toro. Can we get a Toro skin? No, they're just... I think they're new skins from Paleograph. I think they are. Uh, but for Ankylosaurus, we have Bumpy. There's Bumpy. Um, it seems like the herbivores are taking the fight to them. But, you know, they spin as well, which is pretty cool because, obviously, Ankylosauruses do actually have to spin. Seems like a pretty even fight, but I think the... Wow. Okay, well, the Ankylosauruses won. Congratulations, Ankylosauruses. You're the uh, the last remaining ones. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed all 35 species, I believe, in Dinosaur Survival, a brand new dinosaur DLC for Minecraft. You can probably check it out in the link in the description. And you can also check out the creator called Compicraft via their YouTube channel and Discord. If you do wish to check out more content from them, you can check out another dinosaur DLC for Minecraft called Paleocraft, which arguably, in my opinion, is a tiny bit better than this. But I, I, I love both of them. You know, dinosaurs in Minecraft. Who doesn't want that? Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World content and Minecraft content. And let me know your thoughts and what is your favorite species in the comment section down below. But in the meantime, stay safe, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.